Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm going to welcome you back to Let's Play Mega Man Zero Two. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Last time we managed to stop the bombardment aircraft from destroying our base, but Apizo turned to the dark side. So, you know, yeah, that happened. And we let it happen. So, there you go. Off screen, though, I did use up our, our two new sub tanks, Cyber L's, and I got three! Three sub tanks! Ah, ah, ah. So, well, there you go. We also got the, um, erase, or, or, not erase form, we got the energy form last time. Basically, this will allow more enemies to drop more, um, life, life energy capsules. Making grinding for sub tanks immensely more easier. So, well, there you go. We also got the, um, Sengatetsu. Basically, it's an attack, um, dashing slash ability. Basically, equip the Thunder Body Chip, or the Thunder Element Chip, and dash forward with the Saber, attack dash, doink! Yeah, you see there? Haha! -ha, thunder stab, bitch! So, you know, yeah. Otherwise than that, though, before we start the actual mission, I want to take a trip back to the Forest of Dices. More so because there is some new items that we can get now. Could have got this a bit earlier, but well, well, now's a good time as any. Now, you need the flame body chip for this. Now, use the flame body chip and. Tensushin! There you go. Or you could use any charged up fire attack. It'll basically uh, get rid of all the, well, the trees, the brush, and shit out of the way. So that way, you can go and, well, hunt for treasure. Pretty much. But yeah, there are some hidden um, cyber of capsules in this place. Get the fuck off me! Ha! Fucking bees! And whatever the fuck th those things are. I don't know. In any case, burn, bitches! There you go. Now then, yoink! <laughs> Whee! Go, bitch! Nice! Cyber Elf gets. In the case, that's Yippee! Yippee! In the case, Yippee is another um, Vitality Cyber Elf. That's nice. In the case, I think that was all the, um, or was it? Move! Fucking bees! Ugh. Viewers, just wait till we get around to zero three. 3 You ain't seen nothing yet with these bees. Yes, but then again, they are the most annoying in this level. Alright, there you go. Get some energy crystals here. And an extra life up. So, you know, yeah, that's a thing. Otherwise than that, though, we're done here, so let's get out. There you go. Now, um, now that we got Yuppie, let's go and feed her real quick. And I'm going to do this all um, on screen, so that way I can show you guys, well, how to feed Cyber Elves. I don't think I showed that off yet. Basically, if you have the requisite number of energy crystals, feed them to your Cyber Elves, and they basically level up. Now, once they get to their, you know, their final full form and stuff like that, you'll be able to, well, use their abilities. So, you know, there you go. Once you feed them, go to download Elf. And, well, you'll be able to download that elf, and then, well, you can use it to your leisure. So, you know, there you go. Now, yeah, use the one that says increases max energy. That's basically, that basically will let you know that you're using a cyber elf that will increase your vitality bar. So, you know, there you go. All right, let's put um, item meter back on. There you go. All right, we're all set and ready to go. In the case, our next four stage. Whoa! We got the Guardians! <laughs> oh, nice! I bet that the Pizzo's in one of these areas. Wow, we got Leviathan, Caporia, and Fenor. Wow, that is awesome. I can't wait to I can't wait to bro down with Fenor again. That's gonna be kick-ass. First things first though, we gotta find a Pizzo, so let's go to the Forest of Nautis today. This must be the ruins of the lost civilization which Neo Arcadia has been administrating. This area is considered to be forbidden land, where even Neo Arcadian citizens are, are not allowed to enter. I don't understand why Apizo went there. Will you go there? Of course I will! Yeah, we gotta find out why Apizo has decided to suddenly. Oh, I'm gonna kill all humans! Pretty much. He, he basically has a bender complex now. I'm talking season one bender from Futurama. He got better over time. He's one of my favorite characters from that, that show. And that's it for a kill. There he is right there. Wow, we picked the right stage. <laughs> Zero, nice to see you again. Are those the baby elves that Sire was looking after? Are you looking for me? Return to the base. What can you do by yourself? Actually, I can do anything and everything. If I obtain a certain something, 
I learned about something that makes you invincible once you obtain it. Thanks to these baby elves, that is. Oh! Oh, do you mean... The Dark Elf. <laughs> ah, I love that. I love a piezo steam and that laugh. <laughs> yes, I once thought it was something from mythology, but I was wrong. I've come to believe in it for some fucking reason. The kids who unlocked the seal of the Dark Elf is somewhere around here. Let's see who will find it first, hmm? Risha! Aw, oh, bitch! Damn it, you got a head start on us. You found the piezo. Zero, take care of him. Yeah, I'll take care of him. Permanent. No, no, yeah. Please. Right, right. Mission start. Renegades, yeah, we gotta stop a piezo from attending the power of the dank elf. Oh, sorry, dark elf. Because, you know, it's dank and dark. Like a dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Or the darkness in our very souls, viewers. But in any case, we got Caterpie Bots! Yay! The new enemy here, or they're called Caterbots, by the way. At least according to my, um, <laughs> my notes, they call them Caterbots. So adorable! But, well, you- Wow! Bitch! Okay! Okay, viewers, pro tip! Watch out for the pits! <laughs> That death came out of no fucking where. Holy cow. Yeah, that, and of course, watch where you jump. There's that too. Yeah, let's not take any chances. <laughs> then of course, you got these bitches. These bastards that come from the pits. Yeah, you gotta kill them quickly. But they respawn just as fast as you kill them. So, be quick with it. So, you know, yeah. Ah. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me! But well, yeah. Otherwise than that though, bitch, please. Now, I, unfortunately, as you saw yesterday, I was unable to get the erase form that I wanted. I got the energy form in sh um, instead, which is not really a bad thing because it helps grind with for my um, sub tanks. I was going to get it eventually anyway, so I guess, eh, meh. Now's the good time as any to get it, right? Right. So yeah, um, in this stage there aren't a lot of there aren't really any enemies that shoot a lot of bullets. So unfortunately, I won't be able to get the um Ooh, secret passage! Cool. But yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to get the um erase form today. I'll save that for a future stage. But in any case, we got another vitality cyber elf. Perfect! Nice. By the time by the time we finish the game, we're gonna have a full set of two layer um layers of health. We are basically going to be some unstoppable bitches. Yes, viewers. And by bitch, I mean kick ass. So don't think it's um don't make it sound like oh I'm calling you a bitch. No, no. Somebody I can get the fuck up here. Thank you. Yeah, there are some energy capsules up there. But you know, just wanted to you know point that out. But unfortunately, I still can't get the fuck up there. I wasted all that time. Sorry about that, viewers. But, well, you know, yeah. I, I mean, I wanted to see if I could get up there. So, yeah. I think there's spiders shoot bullets, but not often. So, I wouldn't rely on them. So, you know, there you go. Now, the nice thing about the Forest of Nodis is that, well, it's basically a second version of Dicey. The difference being the stage layout is slightly altered. And of course we got um, you know wait. Is this the same music? Uh I don't remember. Oh right, right, right. It is it is it is the same stage music. It doesn't matter though. Cause well we got it um sub tank over there. Assuming or, or not sub tank, um um elf tank. That's assuming I can get over there, that is. Ooh, and it looks like I might be able to. Ha, <laughs> good on me. But in any case, watch out for the, those spikes there. Ow, bitch. That one's pretty unavoidable, unless you're, like, very, very clever. But in any case, we get another cyber elf there, Matik. Matik? No, Matik. In any case, Matik is pretty cool. He restores you fully. So, you know, he's basically a free sub... He's basically like a free sub tank. But well, for one, for single use only. So you know, there you go. 
Otherwise than that, though, but there, yeah, there is another sub tank that we can get in this level. So, yeah, just like, yeah, I don't know why they put him in these particular stages. But, well, it's good because, well, we, we can get another one. So, I mean, isn't that a good thing, viewers? Well, I think it is. Ha-ha! Hand sub tank. Or, why do I keep saying sub tank? It's a fucking elf tank. In the case, we got another cyber elf there. Let's see. That is, uh, I don't see her anywhere. Huh. Well, whatever. I I I'll look for it later. Ha. Move, bitch! Get out my way! Boss time already? Ah, uh, no, 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 not boss time. Mini boss time! Oh well, too bad, so sad. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, fuck off. Next! In any case, get this bitch out the way. Oh, oh, what? Wait, wait. There you go. <laughs> I said, like, where's my saber at? Uh, yeah, there you go. Maybe I should've kept that block. What do you think, viewers? I don't know why I was dumb enough to get rid of it, knowing that that could've prevented me from getting hurt on the spikes. Dumbass. Ugh. Brain fart! <laughs> but yeah, see there? Extra, um, sub tank! Nice. Now, this is going to be somewhat tricky to get, though. But, yeah, take my word for it. Do not attach, um, the chain, chain rod here. Because you will get crushed by this boulder or this block if you do. Instead, use this block. Latch it on. Ha-ha! Sub tank, get to those eggs. Viewers, there, there was a time back in the day in which I thought I had to stand on this platform here and pull the block to get that sub tank. Needless to say, I died. So, I don't recommend that you follow my old formula of doing, of getting that sub tank. Because, well, it won't work for you. Didn't work for me. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. Otherwise than that, though, we did get it, so now we have all the sub tanks in the game. Nice. And we just started the midpoint. That's actually pretty decent. So, yeah. yeah it'll make life immensely easier. Because, you know, with the bosses. Yeah. Then again, the bo not all the bosses in Zero Two are hard. It's just some of them are just, like, downright annoying. And you'll be finding you'll be finding out why soon enough. There is one particular boss that we'll be fighting today. In this stage, mind you. That is one of the most annoying bosses, in my opinion of the entire Zero series. So, you know, yeah. But, um, annoying bosses couldn't also be taken down just as easily as, well, any other boss. You just have to, well, be smart. So, you know, there you go. Like me. You gotta be smart like me. Always like me. Wait a minute. Uh, ah, spikes. Ha! There you go. Hitting Cyber Elf. On Cocktail. Um, Cocktail, I think, is a, um, hacker cyber elf that can, um, you know, make Zero be able to charge up his stuff faster. So, you know, fa fa faster charge time. It's, it, you know, it's all that. It's sexy. So, you know, there you go. Otherwise than that, though, get rid of the spiders. Heal up, um, fill up your sub tanks because we got one annoying-ass boss fight coming up. So, be prepared. Grind, grind against these spiders here and use the, um, energy form. Because once you do... Boss time! Yes. So, I'm gonna take a quick pause break. Be right back. In any case, let's get in here. And, Abizo! We gotta fight you now? <laughs> Finally, I found the key. Nice try, Zero. <laughs> oh man, he beat us here! Nuts. Hey! Get back here! Uh-oh. Uh yeah, of course. Surprise boss fight! Wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! No one can go beyond here, Ribbit! This is an order, an order from Master Haporia, Ribbit! Uh, another one of Haporia's lackeys. And it's a giant frog toad maverick thing. Yay. Hmm, is there someone on the other side of this door, Ribbit? No way! Th this must be a false alarm! I need to get my sensor replaced. Well, I'm, I'm about to recharge your battery, but unfortunately, it doesn't have a long, it doesn't have a long life cycle, because it's Panasonic! Because it's time for a boss fight, versus Barbo Hecalot! Now, as soon as the boss fight
fight starts, get rid of the trees right there. Burn it all, because once you do, it, you'll be able to make this fight a little bit easier. Ow! Bitch. Now, Marble Hecalot is one of a couple bosses in the game that does not have an elemental weakness. As such, um, unequip the, um, your, you know, your elemental chips. All you need to do is just use the fire chip to get rid of the, uh, you know, the trees. Once you do that, ah, rest of the fight is pretty cake. Unfortunately, Marble Hecala does have one very annoying skill. His, his, um, well, his EX skill. Basically this, and I'm taking damage to show you it. Basically, he will absorb your eight, um, your vitality. And he will, um, absorb these little caterpillar bots. If he manages to absorb the caterpillar bots, then he'll grow bigger in size. And once he does that, then, well, he will turn, like, really roly-poly and shit. You don't want that to happen, needless to say. Because he'll turn himself invincible, you won't be able to hit him, and then he'll use bubble attacks to slow down your speed. So, needless to say, kill him quickly. Um, uh, Master Aporia, how can I apologize to Master Aporia? Uh, good. Ribbit! Goodbye, Kermit. Yay! No. <laughs> ah, that was fun. We killed. We killed the giant frog. We killed the giant frog. We did it, viewers. We did it. But in any case, if you are level A or level S, you get his EX skill. You get the energy chain. Basically, the. This is the EX skill for the chain rod. Basically, with this, you'll be able to absorb um, vitality from your enemy once you last them onto your chain rod. It is very, very nice. Plus, it stuns them. Pretty decent EX skill. Especially for grinding for energy. Especially before boss fights, for example. Uh, Axe! <laughs> now, all I gotta do is break the seal of the Dark Elf. Then I'll be as strong as you, Zero. Or should I say stronger than you? <laughs> you can never be stronger than me, bitch. Oh, don't get me wrong. I won't use this power for evil. I'll do this for world peace. But didn't you say you were going to destroy all the humans? So really, you're basically fulfilling your own ego's desire for power. By saying random shit that people d will not believe anyway. And for Miss Sile. Dude, Sile is a human, by the way. You do, you do know that, right? So basically, you're you're betraying her trust by doing this. I guess you just don't care, huh? Whatever. Me, 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 mama, me, me, me. Oh, they're so adorable. Too bad they're evil, though. Fuck. X, you okay? Daishobu. Sorry, Zero. I didn't expect them to become that strong. X. As long as I'm protecting the seal of the main body, I'm not ready to deal with them. Don't worry, I'll handle it. She's responding to her children. Zero, we have no time. You must find a way to stop Apizo. Right. We gotta stop Apizo from attaining the power of the Dark Elf. Got to. Mission accomplished. Transfer me back. Roger. Well, we epically failed that mission. So, not only does Apizo have the baby elves... But now, he's also in search of the power of the Dark Elf. And he's still helping on, you know, killing everyone. So, needless to say, he is our main, um, antagonist. Did you figure that out, viewers? If you took, if it took you this long to figure that out, then, well... Wow. <laughs> the Dark Elf. A key to unseal the power. The seal. Unlock the seal. Break the seal. Invincible power. I'm not sure. What's Apizo up to? I believe it's wrong to bring peace to the world with power. Please, Zero, please stop him. Don't you worry, Sile. I'll stop his ass, or my name is not Zero the Hero. But can we find a way to defeat Apizo? What awaits us in the Guardian stages? Find out next time. If you guys enjoy it, you already know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more vids from me. Hit the bell to stay notified after you subscribe. You got something to say, don't you? Leave a comment. Till next time, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later.